what's up beauties and welcome to today's video I am so excited for today's video I cannot even tell you it has been a hot minute since I did an eyeshadow palette review and I am so freaking pumped so this is the saffron palette from Suva Beauty this came in my October 2019 tribe beauty box so before we get started I want to start off by saying thank you for being here. My name is Manders. This is my channel. We do some unboxings. We do a lot of product reviews, mostly eyeshadow, all makeup usually, and I usually drop things. So if you are interested in that, make sure you stick around. So this is a nine pan palette. It just comes like that. It does come with a mirror. It's very nice packaging. I have no complaints. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just swatch all of these and then we're going to hopefully come up with a really nice look. I have seen zero reviews on this palette yet so I'm super excited. So the first shade is Coriander which is a nice metallic shimmer. The second shade is Saffron. This shade is cinnamon. The next shade is paprika. Turmeric. Ginger, Star and Ice, Sarso, and Clove. Those swatched so freaking well, like seriously. So what I am going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to base my eyes with using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I'm just going to peel off this little sticker here and I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to get that all in there. I prefer lately using my MAC Paint Pot has been my new favorite eyeshadow base especially when using color. I do, I, you really, can, if you don't have MAC Paint Pot don't worry, you could use really any concealer for this. Um, Sometimes what I do like to do is I like to take a matte like beige shade and just sort of set it But for the sake of a first impressions, we're not going to do that today So the first thing I want you know what oh I'm I don't know I'm either gonna go in with the shade cinnamon or paprika. I think I'm gonna go in with cinnamon So I'm going to take it on my Morphe M441 brush. I'm just I must say that when we, when I was swatching these, they did they felt really like creamy. I have to say that this palette is seriously giving me all the fall vibes. So I'm just taking that in the crease and a little bit above and I'm just doing little windshield wiper motions and I'm just circling and I'm just buffing it in. I'm using a very light hand. That is going down so well though. I have re I have used other products from this brand before like I have some single eyeshadows that I've used. Um, I don't have any palettes from them though so when I saw that I was going to be getting this in my Tribe Beauty box I was so excited. So I'm just taking it and just buffing in all the harsh edges. I have to say this, I'm not having a whole lot of fallout, which is really nice considering it's darker shades. 
like it's picking up really easily on the brush as well without me really having to dig in which is something I actually look forward to when I'm using eyeshadows so I'm going in the other side and I'm just deepening it up oh I can totally see myself like using this all the time The shade is seriously just what I needed right now. I love it. It even matches my lipstick. So now, taking a small brush. This is my M149. This is a Morphe brush as well. I'm going to go in with that dark shade, which is Clove, and I'm going to focus it on the outer V of my eyelid but I'm also going to drag it through the crease, but I'm gonna keep it lower than that initial shade. And I'm just using a small brush because sometimes it's just a little easier, especially for the shape of my eyes. I'll go back in and blend with a different brush, but I just wanna make sure there's some pigment. And I do wanna take it through my crease just for that little extra bit of dimension. And do the same thing on the other side. These shadows are really freaking nice, dude. Like, I like these a lot. And I have to like, and you know what, it's fall. Like, the color story here was just calling my name. So I'm just going to go in with a clean brush and I'm just going to make sure that all the edges are blended. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried any palettes from this company before and what do you think? Because so far, I'm kind of blown away. So I think, hmm. So this shade Sarso, Sarso, whatever it is, I'm going to take that, that's this one, and I'm going to pat it. Ooh, that's really freaking pretty. A little bit of fallout on the shimmer shades. That's okay, though. So this is not a pressed glitter. This is, um... Like a shimmer. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh. A little bit more fallout with this one though. So now I'm going to take. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. I'm going to take a little teeny tiny little flat brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Coriander, which is that nice, like, shimmery white shade. And I'm going to take that on the inner corner just to give a little bit more of a highlight effect. Whoa, that's nice. A little bit um, powdery for this shade, but that's okay. Just take your time and it will all come together. And I'm just making sure all the lines are blended. All right, so that is freaking awesome. I do have another first impression that I want to use right now. So we're just gonna, it, it's an eyeliner. So give me one second. Shh. Drop something. So this is my black, blickety black long wear liquid eyeliner from Hank and Henry. I have heard so many good things about this. I've heard people that say they've never used a liquid liner say that this like thing is so easy to use. I did receive this in, hmm, I can't remember. Oh, I think I've received this in my last boxy turn. 
so I've been holding on to it for a little while. It's all nice and packaged. I really like the packaging. Can I give it a... Ooh, that's a really nice felt tip eyeliner. So we're just going to go in and we're not going to do anything super crazy. We're just going to go in with a wing. Ooh. This is applying really well. And like super easy. That was like the easiest wing liner. Did my camera just fall? That's okay. Sorry about that. All right, so all the people that told me this was the easiest eyeliner in the whole world to use might not have been, they might know exactly what they're talking about because that is going on dreamy. So I'm totally going to keep using this um, and we're going to toss on some mascara if I can find some. Why won't this stay up? And last but not least, we're going to go in with my Lancome Mascara. Oh, I love this stuff. Um, I will link a video right here for that I also filmed because I received this as a free sample. And I'm just like loving it lately. It is such a nice mascara. It lengthens it gives volume it almost like gives like a false effect I have nice like I'm I'm thankful for the length of my eyelashes I don't have any issues there so I try not to wear false lashes that often but I think honestly this is my favorite mascara out of my entire collection that I have right now So that is my final look. I have got to say these shades like this one right here. I have this one on. I have cinnamon. They're just like really like they blended easily. There was real not a whole lot of fallout that I experienced and I created a really nice neutral fall look. I really do enjoy this. So I cannot wait to play with this palette some more. And like I said before, let me know in the comments below. Do Have you tried this palette? Do you have anything else from this company? And what are your thoughts? Um, this eyeliner was so freaking easy to use. I'm so excited. I will definitely be using this more. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure you ring that notification bell because you do not want to miss out what we have coming up soon. Thank you guys so much. I love you all and we will see you in my next video.